got some awesome things in store for the Super Duty. And just as a small little teaser, Boys and girls, before this video goes any further, I just gotta remind you guys that Dream Diesel Giveaway number 22 is nearing its final days. February 8th is the deadline for your chance to get entered for Ghost and $30,000 in Benjamins. But 10 times entries are now back until the giveaway's deadline on the 8th of February at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as you guys probably saw by now, you can take Ghost in one of two ways. You can take the truck on the 24x14 Nemesis all gloss black wheels with Nitto 420Vs, or you can take a piece of this channel's history home by taking the setup that's been on 8-Ball. That's been straight up hurting feelings across the board on Ghost. Those are 22x12 Nemesis as well, but they're black with milled accents also on brand new 420Vs. The 22 and the 24 versions of the 420s are essentially the exact same height. It's just that the sidewalls vary from a 35 profile to a 35 from a 24 to a 22. So boys, I'm extremely excited about today's upload because I've been anticipating this day for quite a while. We are going to shift our focus from A-Ball, from Ghost, and from Bandit over to the brandy spanking new 2022 Super Duty. We just had Kegs custom detailing out yesterday. Didn't get any footage with him, but he did like a full fleet service. He cleaned up Ghost, he cleaned up A-Ball, he cleaned up the Super Duty, cleaned up Misfit, cleaned up Jake's LBZ, and he also cleaned up Evan Almeida's Can-Am 1000 Maverick Sport. This is still here only because my hot shotter took last week off to spend some time with his family, and he's gonna be coming up actually later today, as long as everything goes as planned, to take the Maverick and the Big Tex trailer that we bought from MGS Trailer in Ephrata up to Maine, where Evan is from. It's pretty sweet. You can pull the side-by-side -side in the trailer, or you can use the side-by-side -side to pull the trailer. So we actually equip it with a receiver hitch here, so that way Evan can move his trailer around and then when he wants to take this somewhere he can put it on the trailer and tow it with whatever vehicle he's going to use then we've also got the title and everything ready to rock and roll for him right there and it's ready to rock and roll i'm gonna be really sad to see this thing go i enjoyed it some not all that crazy obviously because i want to leave that all for evan but man i'll tell you what that thing is absolutely freaking awesome fleet is looking oh so right right now you guys might be wondering what the plan is for eight ball if the winner chooses the 22 by 12 option versus the 14 wides. Maybe I'll just put the 14 wides on, on 8-Ball? I don't really know. We'll have to see. Only time will tell. But 8-Ball is very much going to be getting some attention here on the channel very soon once Bandit is off of the lift. Bandit as an update for you guys. We're just waiting on the powder coating stuff to get back so we can put the lift kit on it, which may or may not be from CJ Off-Road. That's just a little hint as to where we got it from. You guys know that they specialize and are the experts in very specific brand lift kits. That's just kind of a small little teaser for you guys to look forward to what's coming for that trick right there. But today, is all about this one. We are beginning the build and it's got to come apart. That's exactly what we are going to do right now. There's one major problem with the Super Duty though. Now ah, we're talking boys and girls, it looks so much better. We obviously wanted the Super Duty to look as good as possible while we take it apart. Yes, I took the wheels and tires off for a little while because I was using this truck to tow and heavy towing, I do not recommend with stretch tires. I do really like the look. I think they're cool. They have their place. I know it's not for everybody. You can comment below and let everyone know when we already know it's not a big deal. You can do as you please, but I definitely needed to get these back on it because it makes the truck look so good. The specialty forged wheels look absolutely incredible. They are negative. 76 offset, unlike the American forces that are negative 90. So you're actually able to turn miraculously well at a completely factory height with a stretch tire. And we're about to change a lot of things on this truck. Boys and girls, what do you think we're going to do with this thing? We're going to wrap it or are we going to paint match it? Only time will tell.
time I warned y'all now This time I'm just sending shots Thought that I was some yes man About to show y'all that I'm really not Me and mine was really on the bottom And we way up at the tippy top No bull unless we talking flipping stocks Don't mess around or you getting got Can't see through it cause it's turn it out Yeah, ooh, I'm on the way Game time, game time, who wanna play? I showed up just to ruin your day Count my green till I'm blue in the face I don't wanna talk, please give me my space About to go ghost till I give me my wraith Flow too fast, can't get with my pace I'm a spaz on this suit, quit and give me that face Boom, 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 boom One out of smoke like a chimney It's my turn like I'm Timmy I pity y'all boys, thank y'all Big Mickey, y'all mini I'm your favorite writer's writer I'm on fire, I leave, everybody retire My team the only people And that right there, ladies and gentlemen Is how it's done A brand new 2022 Super Duty In carbonized metallic gray Is now torn down We've got everything nice and organized right here Headlights are gonna be built Mirrors are gonna be touched up We've got some cab lights that we're going We're actually gonna stick with the OEM factory orange on this build and you guys are going to see why a little bit later down the road really excited about that because it's going to play into this whole theme that i've got envisioned into my mind we've got the new grill removed platinum badge off fuel door cap is off so that way sean can get a perfect match to the paint tail lights third brake light f-250 badges rear tailgate handle bezel the front air dam is going to come off our fog light bezels are going to come out front bumper step is coming off oh yes oh yes oh yes it's getting quite real if i do say so myself six and a half hours later and boys and girls we got jason up here from kendall enterprises he brought out the silver mega cab very similar to my dad's third gen as a matter of fact and he's hooking up to the big tech trailer with the maverick on the back he's headed to evan almeda all the way from mains this rig right here is going to make its final cruise to its new home i talked to evan about two potential options that was him driving down and towing the trailer home or us shipping it up to him as a convenient option. Unfortunately, Evan had some stuff going on and didn't have all that much flexibility in his schedule, which I totally understand. Everyone's got super busy lives, so we made the accommodations to work with our boy Jason to send it on up. Once Evan receives it, we're going to have some pictures and videos that I'm happy to share in the vlog to show just how stoked he is to actually take delivery of a brand new 1000 and a big text trailer. The idea behind that little prize with Dream Diesel Giveaway number one was to give one of you a turnkey option to go enjoy a side-by-side. -side. It's cool to have one, but sometimes people don't really have a means of getting them around but that utility trailer and that side by side was the perfect combination the next day so boys and girls we've got eight ball not only as the race truck but also as the work truck he's a multi-purpose candidate for the channel here we've got him on his factory wheels because as you guys know you can have a chance to win ghost if you win ghost you can choose either set of wheels either eight balls 22 by 12 nemesis or the gloss black 24 by 14 nemesis tough decision if i do say so myself we've got all the super duty stuff loaded up and strapped up not moving around whatsoever i'm sending the whole bumper down to sean both front and back as well as the grill i'm gonna let him do all the disassembly because it's a tedious process and truthfully it's like easier to transport the entire bumper itself versus just the components then it doesn't take up a whole bunch of space although we do have the space now it's just easier to keep track of things uh before i forget i do have to jump into the super duty here just kidding the parts aren't over there the parts are actually over here when we pulled the warren winch off we actually ended up having to order a factory insert trim bezel and then we've got the other two trim pieces we're going to be sending them down to sean as well boys and girls this thing is going to be on a completely new level of paint match when it's all said and done it's going to have uh, a lot of lucifer vibes except it's not going to be red it's going to be graphite gray because this color right here is absolutely beautiful and under the shop light you can just see all the metallic flake that makes it up and i really love these neutral color trucks because they don't show the dirt all that much and then the fact that it's a platinum it just seems like the perfect combination look at this though guys this thing is packed to the gills as we speak ready to rock and roll two hours later Ooh, look at that reflection there in misfit i would zoom in more but my lens can't go any further it is so sexy and yes boys and girls i made a stop at the local retail and range trop gun these dudes have an awesome selection over here i may or may not have stopped in and i may or may not have picked something up but i'm not going to show that on youtube because who knows they might get sensitive about it and melt down i don't know maybe it's better we just leave it unattended but i gotta give a huge shout out to my boy jason over here for all the help i may or may not have just switched from one platform to another the one platform that i was on starts with an s ends with a w then one that i switched to starts with a g ends with a k you guys can assemble it together i'm really excited about it and we're kind of just out here making some moves doing some things in good old lancaster county today man i absolutely love where i live and i'm grateful 
grateful to be in a part of Pennsylvania that is just stacked full of Patriots. Well, boys and girls, we did a lot in today's vlog. We got the Super Duty all ready to rock and roll. We've got all the parts down at Peach Bottom Auto Buddy now. I actually didn't film any of that because I was kind of someone in a rush. I had to get down there. And then I got a call, so I had to shoot out of there kind of quick. I'm sorry I didn't film that. But, but the boys at Peach Bottom send their best, as always, to the YouTube channel. So that being said, boys and girls, that's going to wrap up this upload. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching the videos week in and week out. We got some awesome things in store for the Super Duty. And just as a small little teaser, Flight Fab has been working on something for us for a while. Let's just put it that way. Something that we've never done before and something that's going to just take this Super Duty to an entirely new level. I'm going to leave that with you guys there. If you haven't grabbed your issues, you can give number 22 if you haven't already because, boys and girls, the deadline for that giveaway already which is insane. Like the whole month of January is essentially behind us at this point in time. It's February 8th. You're only gonna hear a few more reminders from me for Procrastination Nation and that is the first.